First, make a butterfly knot in the rope, about 4 meters from the end. Now measure 14 times the rope's diameter from the end. Pull the cover marker yarn out at the spot. Form the eye to be spliced in the desired size. Make a small mark exactly across from the marker yarn. From the mark again, measure 14 times the rope diameter. I've now measured 41 centimeters or 16 inches in total. Parallel core rope usually has an intersheath, like a second cover around the core. Remove this intersheath for the entire distance of the splice, namely these 41 centimeters or 16 inches. Carefully cut this intersheath without damaging the core. Cut all the way around and then strip the intersheath off. Now, here is the core made of parallel fibers. Milk back the cover over the core. Milk back all the slack, starting at the butterfly knot. Now bring the core out here at the mark. Go in exactly between whole strands of yarns. Widen the opening a bit. And pushing the strands to the side with your thumbs, bring out the complete core. Pull the core out all the way from the end. Then hold it firmly at the exit point and pull it out a bit from the other side as well. From the spot you are holding, measure about 10 times the rope diameter away from the core end for the core shortening. And mark this new spot with a felt tip pen. From the exit point of the core, Measure once more 14 times the rope diameter and go in at that spot with a splicing needle. Push the splicing needle along carefully up to about one rope diameter behind the cover marker yarn. Come out at that spot. Now thread the complete core onto the splicing needle and pull it through. Pull out some more core from the other side. Up to here, the splice structure is similar to the double braided rope. Only that now I can't splice the cover into this core of parallel fibers. 
but the cover end is tapered just the same. Pull half of the yarns out of the cover braid at regular intervals. And then cut them off flush. Now the cover is nicely tapered and the yarns a bit untangled at the end, so that they can be cut at an acute angle. Pull at the core end until the marked spot reaches the entry point. Now we need to tape the cover tail over its entire length to the core. Wrap it as tightly as possible using a smooth, elastic adhesive tape. This is what it should look like now. Hang the butterfly knot to a strong point and begin milking back. When the eye is closed about this far, take care of the core end. Hold the core where it exits and pull it out a little bit. Cut it at the spot where you are holding it, then cut the core once more at an acute angle. Milk back the bunched cover and the core disappears inside. Now milk back the last piece to the cover marker yarn. When that's done, secure the throat of the spice by stitching through a couple of times with the cover marker yarn. That way no whipping is needed. Then cut the marker yarn short and lightly melt it off.